Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric Texas and back again with the TID Radio H3. This is the one they sent to me. And you know what? I decided to buy the GRMS unit off of my link that was sent to me. So this is the GRMS version. I got it in a different color just to differentiate between it because, man, it kind of looks the same. And it even says multi-band amateur transceiver on the GRMS unit. Hmm. Comes with a different antenna as well, but this is still a 2 meter 440 antenna. And on top of that, when you get the kit, it even comes with the uh, TD 771 and this is also a multi-band antenna as well so what's the difference between these two well actually not much actually just the color because if you pull this off and the uh battery here everything else is the same inside this radio as both of them they have the same fcc id on them everything's the same really wow hmm interesting does that mean they're the same radio? I guess we're about to find out. But yeah, I bought one of the ones off the link. So you get one of these, uh, pick your color. And um, this is the ham version. It seems to have a little more of a stubby antenna. Uh, do a quick power test since it, these are basically the same radio. I'm gonna use the, uh, the ham radio one here and then go ahead and see what we can do to unlock both of these. Um, but yeah, let's get to it guys. Interested, this is the fun part. The uh, power test here on two meters, just wanted to show you menu. 42. Uh, my version is 240229, which I believe is the date that it was uh, made. So we're going to do our power tests and uh, we're going to go into uh, power menu two. Confirm. Oh boy. We're going to two and we're on high and we're on uh, two meter simplex. Let's see what we get. All right, we get about four watts on high and we will go to uh, TX power and we'll change that to low real quick Confirm. and our low power why did I think the uh, mic was on the other side is uh, a little under a watt now if that's concerning to you um, you can change the wattages in this radio it's bundled with the firmware we may do that in another video four four six And there we're on our seven centimeter simplex. We'll go ahead and verify our power is on high. We'll do our high power first, confirmed. Okay, a little bit, a little bit about the same, about four watts or so, under the five that's advertised. And we'll just do our low power menu. All right, so I keep trying to do it on the left side, even though I know it is. So this one is just a, about a watt, about a watt. So that's cool. Now, um, like I said, you can adjust those powers in the actual firmware. Uh, it's bundled software within the firmware. I may do that in another video. This video here, we're just trying to have some fun. This thing is very easy to do. What you have to do is hold down the PTT right here on the side here and when you do that, you hold down the star key, which I always use my middle finger to do, and then you power on the radio. And it's gonna give you an option if you want ham, GRMS, or normal. Since I'm gonna leave this as a ham radio, I'm not gonna do anything further. This one, well, it's a GRMS radio. Shouldn't it be really locked down? Let's try the same sequence again, guys. Here we go with the GRMS version. So we turn that. I'm just going to use this. I mean, you can do any kind of finger compass. Oh, gosh. Wow. Okay. I guess we have the same options. Ham, GRMS, and normal. Now, before I change anything, I forgot. Let me just go ahead and uh, show you the uh, version of the GRMS that I received uh, versus the ham radio, just so you have that as a reference. So we'll hit the menu, Bluetooth combo 42. Just wanted to let you know, I lost a little bit of footage in between here, but the GRMS uh, radio was easy to unlock. And no, you do not need to update the firmware to unlock it. I am just doing that so I have the very latest firmware. I talked about it in the uh, video that uh, disappeared. But in any regard, yeah, you can basically use the same key functions. You'll get the same thing. You hit uh, menu number three. All you have to do is hit it on the keypad. It's going to ask you. Um, well, we'll do it on this one real quick. Uh, initial unlock sys, yes, and then you just hit one. And then in the process, it does everything it needs to do. 
So yes, you can unlock both of them. I'm just doing the uh, firmware update and extra unlocking. Back in a second. Now, before going and updating the firmware on this radio, and I'm going to use unlocked firmware, there is a note that I need to make to let you know how to do this. Now, it does have a USB cable and USB-C on the side. And yes, you can program your radios this way. It has a CH340 chip built into it. However, when you do firmware upgrades, you are going to want to use the K-plug on the side. So that will be the big old jack we used to use back in the day to do programming. Okay, the fun part of the process, what I'm going to do is just uh, load up the unlocked firmware. Of course, this is from April 23rd of 2023. See? Hold the PTT down and turn the radio on. So back to the books. Now I have them in the same. This is the ham radio version and this is the uh, JRMS version here. I have them bookmarked. But uh, yeah, this is JRMS version. This is the ham radio version. And we're at the very end of the menu set here. Um, 51 is the last menu set on the uh, ham radio version. And on the JRMS version, it's also 51, which is interesting to me as well because there's some more menus. All right, well, we've accomplished a lot in this video, so we're getting close to wrapping up. I just have a couple of interesting notes on the menu settings here. Um, but yeah, what we've done so far is we have a GRMS radio, we've unlocked it, and we've also updated the firmware, and just show you just a couple of things here. So once you unlock it, it will allow you to do GRMS, two meters, 440, all throughout there unlocked. So just similar to the Bofangs and such. Um, now I wanted to show you, you add the uh, air band, you go to menu number 48, and that air band is off. Go ahead, turn it on. Now, like I said, the menu setting stopped at 51 and undocumented. But if you go up to, uh, so we'll just go 51, and that's the last one that we saw in the manual. But of course, there's been firmware updates since that manual was printed, so that does tend to happen. Uh, different menu options do become available. Uh, some here that I found interesting is 52. If you see that, 200 TX. I'll let you guess just for a second what that could possibly mean, which means maybe we have the option to have. Uh, 1.25 centimeters, the 220 band on this, which would definitely make this more uh, of a multi-band amateur radio than just a dual band radio. So let's go ahead and turn that on. I hit that menu button, then we go down, that's on. 52, or I'm sorry, 53 is 350 TX. Now that's an odd one because we do not have anything in the 350s that we can use because that's in the United States military frequency. So then we'll go up to 54, 500 TX. Okay, well, let's go ahead and enable that too. So I believe that's over 500 megahertz transmitting, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll see here in just a second. Turn that on. And we'll back out of the menu. Now we're on 446, and that's high, high power. is about 3.3 watts. And um, this is an FM mode. And um, let's just see. Yeah, 200, 100 TX. Maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's 200 megahertz. I am into a dummy load. Man, okay. Interesting. So that means we can do 220. Uh, what is it? 2225? What is that? 2235. Well, I'm just going to use this, but the, yeah, the calling simplex, but I'm just 2225. It's about two watts on, I believe we're on high still. Power is high, so we don't have much uh, transmit power out on that um, on 220. But then we saw 350, which I'm telling you, don't use them at military frequencies. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Who? Wow. All right. I just keep up just for seconds. About five and a quarter watts or so. On 350. Um, I guess 500. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So we start to drop out on uh, 500, but we are transmitting out on high power, just under a half of a watt. Um, what does this meter go up to? It's 525. So let's go 525. Five, five, okay. So we have lost that uh, top band. At least it's not registering. Maybe it's a. Uh, maybe if I go five, two. two. Zero. Zero, zero, zero. And that could be a limitation of the meter or a limitation of the radio. That only goes up to 525 megs. Um, but very interesting. Very interesting that this is all uh, unlockable, especially in the three, uh, let's see, three, wacky, I don't need, five, four, hundred, I don't even know the military frequency. Zero. Mostly trunk now. But yeah, there's two watts. So right at 350. Three, five, zero, zero, zero. Definitely. Uh, it's almost a high, a high point right there. Um, and the one thing I did notice. Now we're in AM mode here. Cancel. 
We can't transmit there. One, three, six, zero, zero. We can't transmit there. So yeah, we auto go into AM on that. Um, so that's interesting, unlockable features. There's also a couple of different other ones in the menu setting. Um, I'll let you go through it. We're up to 56. You can scan band all DTMF tone change um, at the moment. Uh, that is as far as this one goes. One other cool little feature, but it, it doesn't really do much for us um, at the moment. Um, let's see. Let's put in the Super Bowl. Now the AM mode didn't come up, so we're basically just oh goodness, we're basically in uh, transmit mode here with the. Uh, Cancel. Cancel. Nope. Won't allow you, but you supposedly can receive CB. Of course, it's not allowing AM mode um, on this, just like the airband. So I don't know if there's a way to distinguish between AM and FM when you're in this mode, but you can at least get down to here. Um, so yeah, you can get 27 megahertz CB and you don't have to do anything. Um, I know the K, K uh, I think this goes down to 20 megs, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we'll play with that in another video. I don't want to make this thing way too long as it already is. Um, but yeah, cool, cool little radio, a lot of features and definitely multiband. Uh, wattage will vary depending on your radio. But like I said, I may actually go into that bit, um, and play around with it a little bit and see if I can bring the wattages up a little bit. But if definitely um, stay within the lanes, GRMS, uh, MERS, stuff like that. You want to use this. Don't transmit anything you're not authorized to. And uh, yeah, well, anyway, I appreciate it. Have a great one. So yeah, the TID Radio H3, small, compact, and uh, a little bit more unlocked than other radios. Um, what you can do with it, really, not much, but still, cool little thing to have, a nice little uh, addition. So this is TID Radio H3, having a little fun with. So I'll see you in the next one. 73 is Eric Textoff.